It's extremely rare for me to talk about NHL prospects on the channel, but what Connor Bedard has done during this year's World Juniors has everyone turning their heads. His play style is so electrically terrifying that it's incredible to watch, and his hype is at an all-time high. So, I wanted to hop on the bandwagon and give my thoughts on Connor Bedard, as well as take a closer look into what makes him such a crazy talented player. But first, we have to talk about his insane World Jr.'s performance that inspired me to make this video. At the time of recording, Team Canada just took down the United States to advance to the gold medal game, and Connor Bedard has already crushed a handful of tournament records. In Canada's second group stage game against Germany, Bedard's hat trick and four primary assist performance tied a record held by four other players for the most points by a Canada player in a single game, and that hat trick moved his all time total to. 12 goals, putting him just two behind of Jordan Eberle, who scored one of the most iconic tournament goals in recent memory. Tavares backhand towards the goal, loose puck, Eberle scores! Tie game! Can you believe it? The following day, he scored two more against Austria, tying Eberle's goal scoring record only to beat it a day later after he would score the opening goal against Slovakia. But in the process of breaking Eberle's record, he also broke another, breaking Eric Lindros's 30 year record for the most points by a Canadian in the World Juniors. Thought that was all? Well, think again, because he also broke another world record that night, taking down Yarmir Yager, producing the most points by a player under 19 years old. After his goal and assist game versus the US, a chart tweeted out by StatCenter shows just how close Bedard is to achieving all-time greatness. Peter Forsberg set the record for the most career points in the World Juniors with an insane 42 points, and only three others have even come close to that total, Robert Reichel with 40 points and Pavel Bure with 39, who is the third player trailing behind him, Connor Bedard, who's now 36 points in 15 career games, has him closing in on a monstrous milestone. So the question that is now on everyone's mind is what makes Bedard so elite, and based on his performance this winter, we've been able to see just that. Bedard's hands are exceptional, and allow him to get to the front of the net pretty much anytime he wants, and we saw that when he maneuvered past three players to deliver the heartbreaker goal. But his speed also contributes to his success as well, as his bursts of speed are something we haven't seen since Connor McDavid. The way he's able to skate past his opponents and drive towards the net reminds me of Pavel Bure, and his hockey senses are elite, as his vision allows for great passing plays and crazy setups. Bedard's playmaking, shot, and versatile moveset makes him both extremely dangerous and unpredictable, which has NHL GMs starstruck at the idea of possibly acquiring him. It's clear that Bedard is going to be taken first overall, and this World Juniors tournament all but confirmed it. All he needs now is a gold medal victory to write off the perfect storybook ending. Canada vs the Czechs is going to be a battle, and it's one that I can't wait to see unfold. But Bedard showed flashes of greatness before this tournament even began. Bedard's WHL career has been just as successful as his World Juniors. In March of 2020, he was granted exceptional status and was taken first overall by the Regina Pats. Bedard was the first WHL player ever to receive the exceptional status, and showcased why he was deserving as soon as he arrived. In his rookie season, he would produce 12 goals and 16 assists in 15 games before playing in the 2021 World Juniors. Because of this feat, he was named the WHL. WHL's East Division Rookie of the Year, while also earning the Jim Piggott Trophy for the WHL Rookie of the Year. The 21-22 season is where he took his play to the next level. Becoming the youngest player to ever score 50 goals or more, he finished the year with 51 goals and 49 assists, totaling 100 points. He was only the third player to ever produce a 100-point season at 16 years old, and it was because of this season that major media
media outlets started labeling Bedard as, quote, the most exciting future NHL player attending the draft. At just 17 years old, Connor Bedard is already placing himself among the best to ever do it. Taking down names such as Eric Lindros and Wayne Gretzky, Bedard is quickly becoming one of the most hyped up prospects of all time. And as of right now, I'd say it's deserved. Regardless of tonight's outcome, this year's tournament will be remembered as Bedard's breakout. For Bedard, the sky is the limit, and I can't wait to see the type of player he will soon become.